close your eyes and bring your attention to the breath. Try to stay right here. Know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. Know if it's comfortable, if it's not. If it's not comfortable, you can change. Make it longer, shorter, faster, slower, deeper, shallow, more shallow. Try it out for a while. Of course, we're coming to the meditation not totally unprepared. We have our background. As the Buddha said, the best support for mindfulness and concentration is right view and virtue. Right view is when you understand that the suffering that weighs the mind down doesn't come from outside. It comes from within the mind itself. When you can think in those ways, you're not always trying to figure out well, who's to blame outside for your suffering. You look inside. It's not a matter of blame. It's simply realizing you lack skill. That changes not only the way you relate to yourself, but also the way you relate to other people. This is where virtue comes in. You realize that you could make some gains in the world outside. You could get ahead in the world outside by breaking the precepts, but it's not worth it. And so you make up your mind that this is a promise you make to yourself. No killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no taking intoxicants. This is where you look after your own well-being. And other people benefit as well. This pair of right view and virtue appears many times in the canon. It's not only good support for your meditation, the Buddha said it's your most important possession, because there could be reasons for you to break the precepts in terms of your health, your wealth, your relatives. But the Buddha said it's not worth the, change, the exchange, because we're going to have to lose our wealth, our health, and our relatives at some point anyhow. But if we lose our virtue and our right view, then we're in a lot of trouble. Similarly for the causes for living together in peace. Having right view in common, having virtue in common, makes life very peaceful, very harmonious. So these two factors are causes for harmony inside, harmony outside. Well-being inside, well-being outside. We look for peace in the world, we'll look inside. It's got to start here. When you realize that you're suffering because of things you're doing, you can live more peacefully with other people. And when you maintain your virtue, there's no reason for people to be upset with you. And when you look back on your own behavior, there's nothing with which you can criticize yourself. So we're looking for peace and harmony. This is where you look. These very important possessions. And you benefit both outside and in.